Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how we can install Jenkins to our system, as well as we will do. We will try to run the Jenkins, or we'll see how we can restart the Jenkins. So first, let's start the downloading process. So let's follow each and every step as mentioned here in the Excel sheet. So the first step is download Jenkins from this link that is http www.jenkins.io download. So I'll copy this. Go to this Chrome browser here in new tab. I will paste this link, press enter. So now here, the link is open. Now it says download generic Java package from download Jenkins 2.346.2 LTS 4 option. Now it says hit the generic Java package. So I'll move down, I'll go to this generic Java package and it shows download Gen uh, Jenkins 2.346.3 LTS4. So this number keeps changing, so nothing to worry. In my case, it was 2.346, 2.2, here it's 0.3, so this number keeps changing. But this is the section that we have, come, we have to come to and click on this generic Java package and .wr file will get downloaded. So when I click here, then you see generics.war file gets downloaded. So once this generic Java package gets downloaded, we have to work on our command prompt in our system. So we have to open the command prompt in our system. So here I'll write, uh, look for CMD, and this is the command prompt. So this is the command prompt that's available for our system. So here, First, we'll wait for this Jenkins.war to get downloaded. So it's like it's, take, it's taking another 17 seconds to download. And when it's, once it's downloaded, we'll look for its folder, the folder where this Jenkins.war file is available. Once we will go to that folder and we'll try to install it from there. So in our system, we have JDK 11. And in case of Jenkins, we need JDK 11. If you have any other JDK apart from JDK 11, then you'll have problems in installing. So now this is the Jenkins.war file downloaded. I'll go to this, so in folder, and this Jenkins.war is available in the download folder. So right now we are in this section. From here, I'll write CD space, and I'll move to the download folder. So when I write CD space downloads and press enter, then I am into the download folder. So here, as it is mentioned, in case the Jenkins.war is in download folder, then write CD downloads in command prompt. So once we are in download folders, then we have to write this line of code that is Java space dash jar Jenkins.war command. So I'll write here Java space dash jar Jenkins.war and press enter. So when I do this, for the first time, we'll get the password in command prompt. Below the line, please use the following password to proceed installation. We will have password. Copy the password. So here, this is the line. Please use the following password to proceed to installation. So what I'll do, I'll copy the password from here. So just I'll move to this section and I'll copy the password from here. I'll just scroll it from here. Press Control C from my system. Sorry, I missed it. I'll do it again. I'll copy this thing from here till this number. Press Control C from my system. Now, open localhost colon 8080 in Chrome browser. So in Chrome browser, I'll write for the first time localhost colon 8080 and press Enter. So now, for the first time, it's asking for the password. So as mentioned, paste the password, create account using username and password. So first, I will paste the password here. Press continue. It's asking you to save password. Just leave it at a, as it is. Now here it says, in next page, install suggested plugin section to install the plugins of Jenkins. 
So I'll click on this install suggested plugin and wait for all the plugins to get installed. So once the plugins will install, then it will take to the username section. So we'll wait for all the plugins to install. So now here, for, and I'll add my usernames. So right now I'm adding the username as IT Learn 360. Password I'll give my own. I'll give the confirm password. And full name I'll give as IT Learn. Is 60 and give the email address that is training rate it learn to 60.com and the password I'll check it again I'll keep it this way fine now I'll click on save and continue and I'll save this password here and this Jenkins URL is saved and finished. Now start using Jenkins. So when you have this Jenkins dashboard, it means that Jenkins is installed to your system. So all these steps are followed and Jenkins in next page, click the install plugin. So these steps like this step will move a step forward. That's like it will move it here. So here just I'm changing the steps because the steps come before that and create account once comes after it. So just the steps are changed here. Okay. Now it's like the complete process is done. Now to start Jenkins for the next time what we have to do. So I'll close this Jenkins dashboard. I'll close this command prompt also. And let's see how we can start the Jenkins for the second time. It's like this is the installation, everything is done. Now let's follow the steps. So first few steps will remain same. Like I'll go open command prompt in my system. Once the command prompt is installed, the next step is go to the download folders. Now press enter. Once you are into the download folder, write the same line of code that you wrote for the first time. So this command lines remain same. Java dash jar. Jenkins dot W A R. So now here the steps changes. From here it shows once we are in download folder, write this line. Now this line at last we will see Jenkins is fully up and ready to use message. So let's check that command prompt and it shows Jenkins is fully up and running message. So that means Jenkins is ready to use. Now again, go to the Chrome browser in URL, write 8080 at Jenkins page will open. Log into the Jenkins and dashboard page will be open. So again, I'll go to the new tab, write localhost, it's colon 8080. It's asked you to for the sign in, click on the sign in and you are into the dashboard page. So that means the complete Jenkins is set up and now you have the Jenkins dashboard and now you can use the Jenkins. So this is the installation process as well as login to the Jenkins system. That's all in this video. Thank you.